Now, I'm under the hood of a 2000 Toyota Coaster and it's a 1HZ motor and I'm doing the timing belt. Now, see that white mark? That's aligned to top dead center. Notice there's another little nut around here. And the same down here, you got top dead center. And you got that little nut there at about oh, 11 o'clock, nearly 12 o'clock. And then down here on the main pulley for the cam shaft, there's a little notch there. That's dead center as well. So when you're at top dead center, you're on that, all three marks, that one, the timing pulley, that one goes onto the, to the injector pump, and the injector pump spline will be lined up to the number one, just before the number one uh, injector. And you'll see a lot of videos showing this explaining top dead center. But it's actually a bit confusing because it's not the right location. The way to put the timing belt on is bottom dead center. And bottom dead center is that one. You'll see people calling this one top dead center, but it's not. That's, that's bottom dead center. And this one's bottom dead center here. And that's the one you should be on when you're doing the timing belt. The reason for that is that it, then it doesn't interfere with the valves and stuff. If you happen to move it or something while you're putting the timing belt on. Now, the reason why it's confusing is because when you go to do the timing of the injector pump, To do that, you put it on top dead center, and that's that's over there. And you put all three of them on top dead center. You put your little gauge in, and then you move it. You wind it back until the gauge stops moving. Zero the gauge, and then wind it. Move the. Um, Move it back to top dead center, and it should be between 1.03 and 1.09. I just got to move under, there's not much room under here. It's the little gauge thing that you use, right? Let me find the screw. Now, notice down here. There's a little clock there, like a little clock, and it goes one, two, three, four, five, six. Each time this big one turns around, I'll just push it to show you. Each time this goes around, the little clock counts one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So once you zero it, then you move your pump backwards and forwards like this. You should have these disconnected or loosened off. It's going to be easier. And these two bolts get undone and there's a mount bracket there. And you screw this thing into that. It's very tight, but it's, that's how you do it. So there's a few videos around that reference 0 0.3 to 0 0.9 which that is right but it should be one around one revolution and then 1.03 to 1.09 so anywhere between there is about right is about right yeah so you, 
that'll be on one. When you when you move move it, that'll go around, and the little clock will go on one, and this one will go to about there. Not sure if you can see that. So it'll be one point zero three, or if you go to about five. It's about the centre of 0 0.3 and 0 0.9. So there you have it. Just trying to clear up because I was very confused myself. There's videos around saying top dead centre. No one mentions bottom dead centre, but it's actually bottom dead centre when you're putting a belt on. And that's the little screws that face straight up and down. Just about. It's about 11 o'clock on the bottom pulley. Um, and then when you're timing the other one, which is the timing of the pump, just putting a brand new pump on here, it goes the other way, the top dead centre. No idea in an engineering sense why it was engineered to have top dead centre around at about 9 o'clock instead of the actual upright top. Don't know how, why that worked out. But anyway, that's the way it is. Radio. Good luck with it.